Hey, uh, welcome to part two of my Guilty Gear Strive theme music tier list. We'll be doing all the DLC that is released as of the end of 2023. We're going to jump right in. Disclaimer, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. If you don't like my placements, that's fine. Let me know in the comments what you disagree with. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hope you enjoy. Hey, just one more thing I forgot to mention. Thanks for 300 subscribers. Stick to the end, I got some stuff to say. I think what would help me more accurately place these themes if I read upon the characters as well. Let's see here. Active duty military officer, excellent judgment and ability to lead. His personal combat prowess is said to be equivalent to the entire White House security force. This accurate representation of the American populace is stronger than this. After doing a little more research, I found out the meaning behind this song that Goldless feels like a dog that has to do the government's bidding whether he wants to or not, with lyrics like, it's safe to say that Gold Lewis isn't really fond of the situation he finds himself in. Too bad his team is kind of meh though. I think it represents him fine, but I don't think this is a crowd favorite either because I have never heard anyone speak about it. I'll give it an F tier for now. Hey, Future Kubi here. Um, F tier felt a little too harsh for this theme, so I'm putting it in C tier instead. I don't know what I was thinking because it, it's not bad. It's it's not my favorite. C tier. An artificial life form created by Arsica R. Kruitz to prevent the revival of justice, the Herald of Destruction. A lot more to that story that honestly deserves its own video, which I don't mind doing, but you could probably find some better Guilty Gear lore videos to explain. Although she tries to be cool and collected in her demeanor, she tends to act like a child when her emotions get the best of her. For that reason, she wears a special mask to keep her composure during the battle. Man, I wish I could wear a mask to keep my composure during the day. Never had to be an adult, I spontaneously combust. This theme is amazing, but real quick, I just wanna show some comments I saw while looking for an analysis of this song. The lyrics are absolute garbage. Meh, Strive's OST is less than stellar compared to the older entries. A trash theme among an entire playlist of trash themes. Strive's album continues to have the biggest hit and miss ratio in the franchise, and Jacko's theme is one hell of a miss. I guess I can't really condemn someone not liking a certain theme because this is a tier list video that is by creation depending on it, but uh, to call the entire Strive OST garbage? That's what we like to call in a business, uh, wrong. Anyways, I like how upbeat and happy this song is, especially in the end with the piano solo and everything. It all makes it together reflect her joyful attitude. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the A tier, whoa, S tier. I have a restraining order against every single Happy Chaos and his players. He is the original who first discovered the backyard and taught humanity about magic. After absorbing half of Anshay, he has changed drastically. He now carries himself within him all humanity's hope towards living. The theme captures his personality perfectly. It's fun to listen to, man. What can I say? Happy Chaos is such an interesting character, man. If y'all get the chance, y'all should really read up on him. S tier. One of Guilty Gear's more interesting characters. This scene was all about Bike and moving on from all the hate she feels towards that man. And what an excellently put together song. I love the use of different languages and boot his chance. This is another S tier. A 
genetically modified gear that was once a human. After failing to revive justice, the testament fled into the forest of demons to hide their guilt. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, the first few lyrics almost landed this song straight in the trash bin. But the chorus carried this song heavy. I like to think the switch between he and she is referring to testament, but I think that could also be referring to Dizzy. Let me know what you guys think. A tier. Bridget's theme is probably one of the best themes Gil Seeker has ever had. It's all about self-acceptance and being your authentic self. I feel like this song has awakened a lot of things in people and has also helped a lot of people too. For that fact alone, I would put it in S, but if we're going strictly off of music, I'll put it in B. Not a big fan of Sin. Don't hate him. Don't really like him either. The eyeball scene was really funny though. Sin's theme reflects a very carefree and childlike view of things, which fits because dude is like three. He's the son of Kai Kiske and Dizzy, which makes him a quarter gear. Soul watches him so he doesn't bring too much attention to himself with his rapid growth. Sadly, I'm going to have to put his theme in C. Just not my favorite. I don't like it that much. fighting heatless of his own destruction, error prone guardian machine. I'm not reading his entire encyclopedia, but I've actually made a short animation that explains Batman's backstory better than I could have. You're dead and buried, darling. And brick. Hello! I really like that this theme calls back to how dead man, dead man? I really like how, I really like that this, fuck. I really like that this theme calls back to how Bedman was played in Zerd with his day job boom mechanic. Honestly, I just like Bedman as a character, especially in this game. Him and his theme seem pretty unique. A tier. Finally, it only took him 20 years. He stands at the pinnacle even among the company of generally highly capable magic wielders. He is both a scientist and also unparalleled in his mastery of magic, what one would call a genius. I love his design in this game, like dude is dripped out from his head to his toes. I believe if you're really up on the Guilty Gear lore, this song is more meaningful to you, but as someone who is not going to sit through 4 hours of the story mode, I think this theme is alright. Some parts of the song are good, but then some other parts feel out of place and they kind of fall flat. I had to give it a C tier. Leader of the Jellyfish Pirates. He is a master of the heat hero few I'm not gonna that one, that. So swordsmanship. He's a world class outlaw but lives by the mantra, help the weak and sprain the strong which made him popular among the masses. Johnny is a fan favorite in the Gilsier community, so it kind of fits that his theme sounds like he's a legendary hero believed to be a myth returning once again. This entire theme is oozing with his personality and I love it. While I'm not a Johnny fan as much as the next guy, I can see myself listening to this song reg regularly. It's going in A tier. Elfel is one of the Valentines created by the Universal Will. She loves animals and nature, can't bear to see anyone alone. She will charge into any problem headfirst, shielded by impenetrable optimism. Elfel came out as a very good time for me. I have been playing nothing but Guilty Gear in terms of fighting games for a year at this point. The game was getting stale for me and I didn't really like any other character other than Soul. And Soul was getting increasingly less fun after every patch of the season, so I was thinking about dropping the game just for a little bit. Then Elfel dropped and everything changed. I never resonated with the character so much. I loved basically everything about her. The design and the interactions were different than the others and I disliked her concept. And her windscreen reflects what I feel like all the time.
and her theme was amazing. With a lot of Guilty Gear music, I had to listen to it a few times to like it as much as I did, but I immediately started enjoying it. Elfhelt feels like the beginning of a shift in Guilty Gear Strive, and she's a great way to end the year. S2. Alright, we're done. I'm not gonna lie, this year is pretty rough. I'm happy that I'm here. I'm thankful that I made it. I want to thank you guys for getting me to 300 subscribers really quickly, like within a week of my last video. That, that's really amazing. I do want to say I do have a Discord if you guys like to join. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Next year, I, I have ideas of what I want to upload, but drop in the comments if you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to do, and I'll think about it. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a good Christmas. Bless you all. And I'll see you next upload. Catch you later. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.